welcome back in this video i will discuss uh, tic tac toe game playing this is the program number 2 and the link for other programs is given in the description below tic tac toe is a paper pencil game uh, where uh, two players will play this particular game and uh, they used to mark the spaces on a 3 by 3 grid in this case the player who will uh, succeed to put three marks uh, horizontally or vertically or her uh, diagonal line he will be the winner in that case let us take uh, some examples over here in this case uh, x has placed uh, three of his marks uh, horizontally because of that x is the winner in this case uh, x has placed his uh, moves in uh, vertical uh, uh, line so so that x is the winner here in this case uh, o has placed his uh, marks on the diagonal direction because of that o is the winner in this case so this is the basic idea of uh, tic tac toe game in this case now we will try to understand the program 2 uh, program 1 is already discussed and the link for that video is given in the description below in program 2 we consider something called as the magic square where we assign uh, some numbers to this particular uh, 3 by 3 grid in such a way that the sum of these particular rows column and diagonal is exactly equivalent to 15 in this case if you see here 8 plus 3 plus 4 is uh, 15 8 plus 1 plus 6 is equivalent to 15 6 plus 5 plus 4 is also 15 and if we take any row column or diagonal it is equivalent to 15 in this case so that's the reason it is called as the magic square over here now the algorithm for uh, program 2 looks something like this the very first thing what should happen is uh, the machine or a computer will check the chance of its winning if uh, the computer is winning that's final if it is not winning it will check uh, whether the human is winning or the player is winning if a player is winning it will block that particular move so that we will see it at later stage so now the question is how the computer will check whether it is winning or not let us assume that uh, initially the computer has played his turn over here that is 4 and then uh, it has played his second move at this particular place now what it does is it will take the difference between 15 and the sum of these two things sum of these two things is what 9 in this particular case which is equal to 6 at this place 6 is empty because of that if c plays over here the c is the winner so that is what actually it does so whenever uh, uh, it wants to make sure that it is winning or not what is the first thing it does is it will take the difference between 15 and the sum of those two squares if that particular difference is not positive or if it is greater than 9 the computer cannot win if it is a positive number and it is less than 9 it will see whether it is empty or not so in this case you can see here 6 6 is a positive number or 6 is uh, less than 9 yes both the conditions are true here and 6 is empty also because of that c is winning at this particular place now take few more example uh, to decide whether uh, uh, computer is winning or not i will take some different color just to justify here let us assume that uh, the computer has played at this particular place again c and then it has played the second move at this particular place now uh, we have to calculate again the difference uh, that is 15 minus 4 plus 1 that is equal to 5 which is equal to 10 in this particular case because uh, 10 is greater than 9 the computer cannot win here that is what the condition we'll take one more uh, possibility let us assume that uh, i will take some different color again let us say that initially it has uh, move placed his turn over here and then the second move over here what has happened here is uh, 8 plus 9 is 17 so 15 minus 17 which is equal to minus 2 see here minus 2 is uh, not positive because of that uh, the computer is not winning at this place also so because it is not winning it will check whether uh, uh, this one that's a computer uh, the other player that's a human is winning or not so how it does is uh, it will take the same approach there also let us assume that uh, the player has played his move first move here and second move here because uh, computer has played over here computer is not winning we have already seen that one now what computer will do is it will take it will check whether human is winning or not how it will have it does that is 15 minus 8 plus 6 that is equal to 14 so which is equal to how much 1 so because 1 is empty if computer doesn't play its turn over here the human will win so that's the reason what it does it will play its turn at this particular place 
so so that it can block that particular uh, human to win at this particular place here so that is called as uh, it will check whether the opponent is winning if that is the case it will block that particular move over here now we will take one very simple example to understand this particular uh, algorithm in detail let us assume that this is the original uh, magic square computer is going to play its uh, first turn uh, because uh, the board is empty the computer will play its turn at this particular place now again uh, because uh, the there were a lot of options are there uh, let us assume that human has played over here because they have played one one we cannot apply that particular algorithm uh, let us assume that computer has played at this particular place now uh, at the same time uh, let us assume that human has uh, played over here now because they have played two two turns now we need to check whether computer is winning or not if computer is winning then uh, that's a final if computer is not winning it will check whether human is winning or not if it is winning it will be blocked over there now i will start with this particular previous state uh, how it will check that particular uh, case that is computer is winning or not what it does is uh, it will take the difference between 15 and the sum of those two squares that is 15 minus this is 5 and 4 which is equivalent to 6 because 6 is uh, not uh, is positive and less than 6 so there is a possibility that c can win if this particular 6 is empty because 6 is not empty here c cannot win here okay because c cannot win what it does is uh, it will check whether human can win over here how it does it will take the difference between 15 minus 8 plus 6 that is equivalent to how much 1 now uh, because 1 is empty human can win here so that because of that what computer does is it will block that particular move here by placing its uh, move next over here so that is what is being shown in this particular diagram now once this is done uh, the next turn is a uh, human so human uh, will play any of these particular uh, four places let us assume that he has played at this particular place now what should happen here is uh, the computer should see whether it is winning or not again so it will follow this particular approach so first it will take the difference between 15 minus 5 plus 4 this is 5 this is 4 it is 6 here 6 is not empty you can see here 6 is this one this corner it is not empty because it is not empty it cannot win here now it will go to the next possibility that is you can say that this and this 15 minus 1 plus 4 that is this is 1 and 4 this is 10 10 is greater than 9 again computer cannot win here now it will see the third possibility this two this and this one uh, that is 1 and 1 plus 5 16 minus 1 plus 5 is equal to 9 9 is empty here you can see this is 9 and this is 9 is empty because 9 is empty computer can win by placing his turn at this particular place so computer will play here now computer has won this particular game in this particular case so this is how uh, the program 2 looks like uh, with the help of uh, magic square in the previous video, I have discussed uh, how this particular uh, tic-tac-toe game is played or implemented uh, with uh, other approaches. Uh, I hope uh, this particular approach is uh, clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.